Proverbs 18 and 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakwadash. I want to give double honors to those and apostles of Great Millstone, their will well. Peace and salutations to Ayuakim at their special distance and sincerity, I was in charity. My name is the brother Yoachanan here from the Great Millstone Camp here in Des Moines, Iowa. I come at you with another lesson inspired Chakwadash, the Holy Spirit. The worship to the hopeful elect, rightly dividing the word of truth. Yahweh be the all powerful heavenly, heavenly Father that exists. Hashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son. That everybody ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his real name being Yahweh Shai in the Paleo Hebrew. And uh, it's gonna a little, it's gonna be off this, off this precept again, precept of the day, you know. Um, and I'm gonna reread it again, and I want to get it in the NLT as well because it's very heavy. It says uh, Proverbs 18 and 21. It says, "Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it." Shall eat the fruit thereof, right? That's the that's the one regular we'll get in the NLT. Proverbs 18 and 21, NLT. The tongue can bring death or life. Those who love to talk will reap the consequences. Okay, so the the tongue is a very, very, very powerful thing. Okay. The tongue can get you in a lot of trouble, right? Or the tongue can lead you to life everlasting man right life life or death okay giving a scenario shit somebody come up to you you know just out of nowhere and start talking shit to you man hey it says a soft answer turneth away wrath right it's the lot it's the tongue right there you could either give a soft answer or leave to life you know and 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 that guy can just be like oh, fuck it whatever or you can buck up and think you a tough dude like the ice pk dudes man that that tongue, the, that tongue that they're using, the way they're 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 coming off of tough, that's gonna reap them, man. That's gonna they're gonna reap what they sow. All right, but we ought not to be like that because Yahweh Shah was wise, man. He was uh, harmless as a dove and, and wise as a serpent, man. Okay, this is Sirach, no, it's like it. This is Proverbs fifteen and, and eight one one. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger, and that's it. That strevious words can be like death on that situation. Why? Because you're not using wisdom and giving the soft answer, man. Hey, man, you got it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you got it. Hey, okay. All right, cool, man. All right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, we ain't about that. Hey, man, that, that guy might just go on his way. But if you say, hey, what's up? What's up? And, you know, try to match him on that energy. It's going to get you messed up, man. And it's, and it's, and it's you know, and it's spiritual because... That was the precept of the day, and that's what's been going on with this different camp, man. Just saying shit, man. All right? It says, uh, verse 2, and that Proverbs 15 and 2, the tongue of the wise uses knowledge. All right. But the, uh, <laughs> right? But what do you say? Uh, fools. Uh, uh, I was just, uh, cowards say I was just using wisdom. You know, roughly play for what he said, man. But what does it say here? It says, The tongue of the wise useth knowledge all right, but the mouth of fools pour out foolishness, and whatever he put and whatever he said and he poured out and he keeps saying, that's foolishness. That's not the words of a wise right there. That's not a wise man. Alright, and I'm just using that particular example. Why? Because it's prevalent. You know, it just happened, it's recent. But that's an everyday life, man. We we gotta be wise. Right? Redeeming the times because the times are evil, man. They, they, these are evil times, man. We just got to watch our mouth with anybody who we speak to because there's a lot of agents, right? And there's a lot of shit just going on, man. We just got to keep our mouth shit, man. <laughs> Simple as that. All right? It says, um, we'll go back to this, uh, Salaki. I wanted, uh, this one. Sirach 28 and 12 because I made a point about just spitting on the fire, right? Just, just giving them a soft answer. It says Ecclesiasticus 28 and 12. If thou blow the spark, it shall burn. If thou spit upon it, it shall be quenched. Both of these come out the mouth, right? You could either blow it and kill it up the fire or you could either spit on it and just um, spit on it 
and, and quench it, man. Right? But if you keep A, getting it on, and A, getting it on, and being a fool, that's going to, hey, man, if that is shooting, everybody got a gun now. So, hey, like I said, it's just, it's just best to just shut up, do your business, man. You know, and we, we are all about the ministry. Simple as that. Guy, want to be tough. Hey, man, you got it, man. All right, cool, cool. Hey, all right, that's cool. That's cool. Hey, and we'll do and, and go about your business, man. It's not worth it. These people are not worth our breath, man. To be honest, this is um James three. It says verse uh, two. It says, uh, "For in many things we offend all. If any man offend in word, the same is a perfect man and able to divide the whole body. Behold, we put bit in horses' mouths. Right? It's going to give you examples that they may obey us, and we and we turn about their whole body. Behold, also the ships, which though they be so great and are driven with uh, driven of forced winds, yet are they turned with a very small helm, and that very small helm." can be likened unto the tongue. And, and we'll, you know, I'm skipping the gun, right? Inside joke. It says, Whether so, uh, whithersoever the governeth listeth, even so the tongue is a small member and boasteth great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. The tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that is defiled the whole body and setteth on fire the course of nature and it setteth a fire, uh, fire of hell. Right? And I'm just going to keep reading. So lock you. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and things in the sea is tamed and it had been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is unruly evil full of deadly poison, man. Right? It says what? That's why we pray. Right? It says, let the words of my lips and the meditation of my heart be fully acceptable unto you. You know, set scour uh, scourges of wisdom on my thoughts. Right? That's why we pray these different things. Why? Because we know that the tongue and this and this body, <laughs> right, is is hey man, it's an animal. We just gotta tame it through the Holy Spirit, through wisdom, through being wise. Because this book gives us the directions on how to be wise and how to tame our body, how to keep it under subjection, you know, and walk in the ways of Yahweh Ba Shimiao Shai and speak the ways of Yahweh Ba Shimiao Shai. Speak life, not death, back to that, you know, Proverbs the 18 chapter. Because, hey, man, don't get me wrong, man. A dude might come up to you, man, talking shit. Hey, you want to snap back, but at the same time, we got to bridle our tongue. It's not easy, man, right? It's not easy, but, hey, man, it's the best route to go, man. What would Yahweh Shai do? Always ask ourselves that. What would Yahweh Shai do? Is this profitable for the ministry? Is this profitable unto me? Is this wise? You know, you got to ask the, yourself these certain things before you react right I believe there's a scripture that says uh, the tongue of the wise is in his heart but the tongue of uh, 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 the foolish is in his mouth or roughly paraphrasing man why because we think before we speak we're just not going to blot out evil things or stupid things foolish things right this rock 20 and uh, uh, 6 some man holdeth his thumb because he had not to answer, and some keepeth silence, knoweth his time. A wise man will hold his tongue till he see opportunity, but a babbler and a fool will regard no time. All right, so, so a fool will say all oh, types of shit. He'll call you out your name, tell you another 25 cuss words after that, and not caring. But we not ought not to be that way, man. And walking in the ways of Yahweh Shimei Shai, Yahweh Shai would not do that, man. Okay, verse 8, and he useth, and he that useth many words shall be abhorred, and he that taketh to himself authority therein shall be hated. Right? Chalakia, I thought I had, I had more on that. I didn't. But now, man, that's that's the point, man. We just got to, hey, man, we, we got to be wise, man. Especially in these times that are coming in. That, that we're in and we're about to come in even more, man. All right, but that's it, man, through the spirit. Lord willing, lesson was edifying, you know, exhorting to some brothers, you know, that needed to hear that, man, because I know, hey, man, 
I know sometimes you just want to go off on a dude, but hey, man, we, you know, we got to be wise as serpents, harmless as doves, man. Like Yahweh Shai said, Bishalom, I'm going to give our praises to Yahweh. By Hashem, I will shout. By Hashem, I want to give double honor to those and apostles of Great Millstone that will well. Peace and salutations to all you walking with their pushing the student sincerity of sincerity. I shall awaken my camera to the next.